Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Justina and here I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you through my DIYs. As you see by today's title, it is 60 days until Halloween and it's coming by so fast. I am so excited. And I have a couple of DIYs that are easy to do, plus a dupe that I made with using Dollar Tree items for these little at-home pumpkins that everybody was going crazy for over the summer. Remember, if you are new here, I hope you stick around by clicking that big red subscribe button down below. It is totally free. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for watching watching. I hope you enjoy today's video. With all that being said, let's just jump right into it and let's art today. Moving right into our first DIY, it is super simple. All you are going to need is some spray paint and some paint. Now I have this glass skull. I purchased it from Michaels years ago and I made a candle out of it. And since the candle is done, I cleaned it out and I am just going to give it a quick spray paint using this Rust-Oleum flat spray paint in black. I do give it about a couple of coats, but then I totally forgot about it outside. And as you know, I do live in Texas and it has been over 100 degrees for quite some time time so the paint did start chipping on it however I really like that look because it did help age it after I was done and it was completely dry I wanted to go over it using some of this basic acrylic paint in the color bronze now all I'm doing is adding it to a paintbrush and I'm lightly painting it all over the raised edges and also on the outer rim of the top portion because I wanted to give this more of an aged look and I really loved how both colors really went with each other and it gives it more of a macabre look. After that was done, I just waited for it to completely dry and that completes this DIY. Here is how the skull looks. Now this one is just going on my spouse's desk to hold all of their pens and scissors and whatever else they want to stick in it but you can pretty much use this for whatever you can even put a little spooky plant inside i really loved how this turned out i do have a second skull that i'm going to do the same thing to but i would love to know what you think down in the comment section Moving right into our next DIY of the day, I have a candlestick that has been previously painted in a previous DIY and this really cute cat bowl that I found at Dollar Tree as well. Next, I found this really cute cup that looks like a witch's hat and a crystal ball that is super adorable. So once I saw this, I knew that I had to make my own crystal ball and that is what I'm going to create using all three pieces. Now, Dollar Tree does carry just the crystal balls that looks like like a snow globe that you can do the sim same project with but I just thought this witch's hat cup was absolutely adorable so the first thing I needed to do was take my little cat bowl outside and I gave it a nice coat of that flat rust-oleum spray paint and as you see here it does adhere really well to the plastic now if you are uncertain of it sticking you can always sand it down but like I said it did a really good job now for video purposes and I know I'm going to reuse some of these materials Materials. I am using hot glue to attach the candlestick to the cat bowl But if you want a more permanent hold you can always use a super glue or e6000 to hold it permanently Here's the look that I was going for but then I was uncertain of how I wanted my crystal ball to actually sit in the cat bowl so I took it apart and I started putting it upside down and in the right side up and decided to just go with the right side up. But before attaching it down to the cat bowl, I am going to age my little stand here with the same basic acrylic paint in the color bronze and just lightly dry brush it all over the stand to make it look more aged and weathered. Once I was finished, I did place it to the side to completely dry so that I can start working on the hat. Now I'm just painting it using a basic acrylic paint in the color black so that it would be flat just like this stand and then I go over it with using that basic acrylic paint in the color bronze just to age it a bit and it looks like a matching pair. Now to make the cup sit in the bowl, I'm using the smallest amount of hot glue to place it inside so that it doesn't fall over. That way I can remove it later and I did and there was no damage to each one of those pieces. Now to give it a little bit of extra oomph, I added some Dollar Tree 
Halloween lights into the hat where the straw used to be and it slides down perfectly. I added batteries, added the backing right on top, and then I'm going to insert it into the cup with this creepy cloth that I also purchased from Dollar Tree. To get the creepy cloth inside, I just draped it over the hole on top of the cup, added the lights, and then started pushing everything in so that it was well distributed. Then I start playing with it so that it can be placed all inside and then that way I can screw on my hat right on top and then hide the battery pack in the back. Now the lights are totally optional. You can leave it out if you do not want it to be lit up but I decided to leave them in just for right now and I do decide to take them out later as well just to show you the difference. Now the last bit of details I wanted to add some of these spiders right onto the hat and the stand one on top just to cover the string from the lights and one on the stand just to give it more of a spooky look. But after I was done with that, that completes this DIY. I really loved how this crystal ball stand turned out. It's super cute and I love how the little bits of details with the spider and the witch's hat just gives it an extra pop. Now like I mentioned the lights are totally optional. I did use a little bit of hot glue to attach it to the back of the stand so you won't be able to see it but I did take it out so that you can see it without the lights and it still looks super adorable. There's so many options that you could put inside of it or just leave it as is and it would still look adorable. Moving right into our next DIY, which is my favorite, it is the at-home dupe. Now, Dollar Tree has these little cement figurines that light up. You're supposed to put it around your pathway or maybe in your garden just to give it some light. And the best part about this is that they're solar powered. There's a little off and on switch and all you have to do is stick them under the sun so that they will light up. Now, when I saw these, I thought they were the perfect size to create the little grumpy pumpkins that you see at home. and everybody has been going crazy with except for the fraction of the price. Now to make them, I have some of this air dry clay that I purchased from Walmart. Now I know Dollar Tree does carry air dry clay. However, I had this one at home and I barely used it to begin with. So I am using it now and I only use a little bit a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. So like you see here, I'm just taking a bunch of it and I'm trying to shape out the eyes first. I'm going to mold it and make all these different types of shape and then place it right onto my pumpkin and press down. After I press down, I am going to continue shaping it until I got the desired look that I'm going for. Now on the instructions on my container, they said the best way to smooth out all of the lumps and cracks is to use some water so that is what I'm going to do and I will continue adding on clay until I got the face that I am going for. This does take quite some time uh, depending on how detailed you want your face to look and it can be a little bit messy as you will see here shortly but the results are absolutely awesome and there are so many different ways you can make faces on these. Now on my container also it does say it takes a couple of days to completely dry however I placed mine outside and basically with the heat it completely dried within a couple of hours and I was able to paint right over it so if you live in a warmer climate I suggest putting it outside. However, when I did put it outside, it did tend to crack because I believe it dried way too quickly and the heat outside was way too hot. But in the end, I still loved how it turned out because it just gave that an extra flair and creepiness to this little guy. So as you see here, like I mentioned, I'm just going to keep adding on clay until I got the desired look that I'm going for. I do use this little pen tool. I believe it is meant for clay and I purchased it from Dollar tree but I noticed that I like using my hands better to get all of the details on. Now 
As I am adding on more clay and shaping it out to the desired look that I'm going for, if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you do that today. All you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button down below. It is totally free, but don't forget to click on the bell notification so that YouTube can always notify you every time I upload a new video. Plus, I would love for you to be part of our virtual art family. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate each and every one of you being here. I really hope you're, you are are enjoying today's video. If you are, don't forget to smash up that thumbs up button. It really does help out my channel. Remember friends, I do have other socials. I have a Facebook and an Instagram page where I post other photos of all of the DIYs that I have created. If you would like to check those out, all of the links are down in the description box below. I also have a buy me a coffee page if you would like to help support this channel even further. That link is also down in the description box below. I would love for you to go over there and say hi. Now with all that being said I am just going to continue sculpting out my little pumpkin guy until I get him to look like a creepy pumpkin figurine just like the ones at, at home. I am going to play some Halloween music for you so you don't have to listen to every little detail that is going into this little guy but if you have any questions that I haven't answered please list them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer them as best as possible. I really hope you enjoy and I'll be back once I start painting. Here is how my little pumpkin friend looks after he is completely dried. Like I mentioned, I did place him outside in the 100 degree weather and he did crack some. However, I just think this adds a little bit of creepiness to the design. Next, I'm going in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and I'm going to give him a nice coat of this paint all over his face. Made sure not to get inside of his eyes because unlike the ones at, at home, these will light up because they are solar powered lights, which makes this even creepier. But I made sure not to get any on the light fixture. If you do, all you have to do is just wipe it off. Next, I'm going in with my Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Java, which is just a dark brown for the stem. I will also paint the leaf in a green, and then I take that same Java paint color and I add it all within the creases of the pumpkin. This will add depth and dimension and give it that creepy look that we are going for. I did add some white paint inside of his mouth for the one tooth. And as you see here, you could just see him gradually turn into a creepy pumpkin and I absolutely love it. Now, after I was done, I do place that to the side so it can dry. I had to make a second one. So that is what I'm doing with this pumpkin. Like I mentioned before, there are so many different ways you can make this and so many different types of personalities. You can make these little pumpkins with just a little bit of clay. This would be a perfect DIY for the whole family to do so you can see all the different types of personalities and creativity that each one of you have. And you can set this off as a set in 
in your garden, outside, or even inside after you take them outside to charge a little bit and illuminate inside of your home. I absolutely love these. I am going to go out and pick up a couple more so that my little ones can make some as well. After I was done, I did place it outside to dry completely. The first pumpkin was more of a practice run. This one I got a little bit more creative, but once again, like I mentioned, it did crack a little bit because of the heat. Next, I'm going in with my Java chalk paint and adding it all over. I figured if I added the darker color first and then added the lighter onto it, it would be easier, but I did find out that either way just works fine. You just have to keep adding layers until you get the desired look that you're going for. After I was done with that and it was dried, I went in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and I just added it right on top. Then I continue adding different types of layers of each color and added some highlights lights as well using some cream paint and some white paint as well. I did paint each leaf using green acrylic paints and chalk paints just so that I can give him a lot of detail and make him look as creepy as possible. But that completes this DIY and look how these little pumpkins turned out. I absolutely love it and would love to know what you think about them down in the comment section below. But that completes today's DIY friends. I really had a great time making all of of these DIYs. They really are truly simple and easy to do if you have a little bit of time. I absolutely hands down love these pumpkins. These are my favorite today and I just love how they light up at night. They are super creepy but if creepy is not your style you can always try to make them cutesy if that is what you want to do. Now if you recreate any of these DIYs I would love for you to share those photos with me on my Facebook page. The link is down in the description box below. Now remember if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed I hope you do that today. All you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button down below. It is totally free but don't forget to click on the bell notification so that YouTube can always notify you every time I upload a new video. If you are already subscribed thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you being here and joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And if you have at least one friend that loves Halloween as much as we do, don't forget to share this video with them. Thank you all so much for being here. I do appreciate everyone. I really hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next one.